and get it properly fitted, you nut. Watch where you're going. I smelled worse, but not much worse. I see you met Davies. How is he today? Less and less, I'm afraid. After his brother died, the cams helped a bit. Even then he was a bit dodgy. Some days he was the old Pete. Others, well... You just saw what the other days looked like. If you're implying I lead, stop there. Prince Davies might have bad days, but he's a strong and capable leader. I've business at the Oberon. Meet me there. I have some things I want to discuss with you. See, you met Prince Davies, and judging by your face, it wasn't what you were expecting. Have some respect. Helping Pete cope has come at a high price. Because if I didn't, he'd just find his own poison. I'd rather know he wasn't getting laced chems, or just taking too much at once. But I think there might be a better way to help him. It's a bit of a delicate plan, so let's talk it over at Marb House. Meet me when you're ready. How's it going? You forgot already? We're on the hunt for that blooming gold from back in pre-war times. I think there might be a clue in the remains of the bank they knocked over. Go check it out. around here. Stop with the cheeky banter and cover me already. Shit. Something's broken. Right, my bravery, stupidity. I'll know when it's over. Oh, uh.
sidekick. Learn to pack better. We've been tra traveling together a while now. I think it's time I asked you a crucial question. Imperatively important, my affable accomplice. Have you thought about what sort of psychic you want to be?
You pay that has certainly been proven well already. You see, I've been thinking. Can you sing, sidekick? Very funny. And what about poetry writing? I'll put you down as acceptable. Perhaps we can nab some Homer and Euripides to polish you up. You see, I've been thinking. I may have some use for you as a sort of traveling bard. Composing poems about my exploits and such, you know? They are my feats of daring do, of course. Venturing through abandoned places, uncovering the lost treasures of our fallen world. Braving the fortresses of the Gentry establishment, liberating precious goods from their baleful grasp. But most of all, there are the secrets. The strange mysteries uncovered in dark enclosures, on ancient terminals, and even lurking in the shadows of the corridors of power. Aha! The future chapters of the adventures of Kira! There is much to come. I haven't forgotten the mystery of the gold bars for a start. Then there's the crown jewels begging to be nicked sometime. And the secrets of the monarchy to uncover. Not to mention aliens and angel and everything in between. Just you watch. The secrets of the world sit before us. And Kira is here to crack them wide open. But one step at a time. We have other matters to settle first. If you wanted normality, you've chosen the wrong hero to follow. Kira the treasure hunter will not be bound by convention, norms, established wisdom, or anything approaching common sense. Those are mental barriers to seeing through to the true secrets of the world. Snap the bars apart, tear through the locks, and snatch the treasure of truth from within! <laughs> Don't get too cocky. Just try to keep a note of all the amazing things I say or do. Alright? I appreciate it. Listen, mate, I ain't in the mood for a staring contest. Bugger off. Will it be? Take a look. Goodbye.
can I get you? The usual. Enjoy.
What's your poison? He's our menu. Goodbye. You'll hear about those boxing matches over the hill. You might want to think about making a U turn out of here. If your clothes don't say something, you might as well not exist. Oh, you're back. I don't really understand the whole Camelot thing. What night, sir? Think of the past? I'm glad you showed up. Well, you don't need to be a detective to figure out I'm the one supplying chems to Prince Pete. Because if I didn't, he'd have found another supplier, and another supplier wouldn't have rationed him. Prince Pete's getting worse, and the Roundels have been without a leader for too long. We can get him clean. It won't be easy. Because if someone notices he's missing, there'll be a riot. It's in the Roundel's best interest to get Prince Pete back. But before I say anything else, I need your word that this stay between us. One careless whisper, and we're inviting everyone with a grudge to come attack. Or worse, we'll start attacking each other. Without Pete, there's a power vacuum, and there are people like Dennis waiting for their chance to lead. Good, because we need to move fast. I've already identified the perfect safe house, right here in Hackney. I'll mark it on your map. I need you to scope it out, make sure it's as safe as it looks from the outside. And that it has all the necessary bits and bobs. A sturdy door. Pete may not have his old strength, but even a weakened man desperate for chems can knock down a few rickety planks tacked together. A cooler. That's essential to hold the detox supplies. And a bed. He's still a prince. This process will be rough, and he needs a comfortable place to get through it. While you're doing that, I'll get Pete ready. Meet me back here once the building is ready. I swear. The sun rises earlier when you're out dancing. It's hard to search for treasure here.
junk. Junk. Lovely junk. There's a problem. Ding, ding, ding. Our new little hitch in the plan are hooligans. A whole lot of them. This isn't their usual territory. The blighters are getting bolder every day. They need to go. They're camped out on the most direct route to the safe house. Good to hear. Once they're gone, we'll meet you there. Companion, furnish me with light. Every day, we take a little piece back what we lost. Hope Miller attacks again. It's a great day to just faff about a little and live. I swear the sun rises earlier when you're out dancing. Pete's in worse shape than I feared. It means we need an extra step in the detox process. He's got all kinds of illnesses and frailties from years of living with a compromised immune system. He's so weak, going straight into a detox would likely kill him. 
I'm not ignorant to my mistakes. That's why I'm here. Judging by the looks of him, we'll need three doses of antibiotics. And probably some Morphex to help him do the worst of it. That's not what I normally deal in. And hurry. The longer we wait, the more likely it is someone will find us.
Just give up! Cowards, I'd. Someone there? You sure you? 
you saw something. Someone there. Handling service. Point leaving huh? anything behind. Here and shit. Nothing there now.
Do you have everything? Give them to Pete. I'll prepare the sober. What the bloody hell's going on here? Just like I said, Mike took Prince Pete out to the middle of nowhere. Mike? What are you doing? Offing Pete, obviously, and he's roped in this lackey to help. We're getting Pete clean. So suddenly you have a change of heart? We all know you've been pumping Pete full of cans. With Pete out of the way, good old Manchester Mike will lead the roundels. That's what you were thinking, wasn't it, Mike? Mike, if you wanted control, we could have talked about things. A chem pusher doesn't talk, he deals. So what are you dealing Pete today? We've given him antibiotics, Joan. We're helping him. In a shack where no one can see or hear you. And your only witness is someone you implicated. Someone you can easily blackmail. Roger, please, you have to believe me. I just wanted the old Pete back. Of course not. You've been with me since the beginning. Have you, though? Was there any point where Mike was alone with Pete? He could be filling him full of other cans. So when you give Pete the last bit of this miracle cure, the blood looks like it's on your hands. I'll surrender. I've nothing to hide. When I tell my side of the story to everyone, you'll see. Pete may still have a chance yet. Easy, Dennis. I said I'd go with you. You don't get to cry for mercy after what you've done. No, you don't understand. The sober is still... Zip it. Peace, Joan. Mike's cooperating. What's happening to Pete? What did you do to him, Mike? He needs the sober now. His body's in overdrive from the antibiotics and morphex. So give it to him. I can't. Joan just broke the only vial I had. I know you've got some more somewhere. Yes, back at Marp House. I'll get it now. You're not going anywhere. Someone needs to get it. Send his lackey. Anyone smart enough to see sense when presented with evidence is trustworthy enough to grab a chem from a drawer. It's a safe. But I agree. Here, take my key and go. You want to wait? Then you watch over him. If you're wrong, he'll die. If your clothes don't say something, you might as well not exist.
When the Hurry. sun's in your eyes, even Pete's you look proper. So well. What you do now needs your utmost attention. Inject the soba gently in his carotid artery. Make sure there are no air bubbles and keep your hand as still as possible. His body's weak, so too much shaking and you could bruise his neck bad enough that he can't breathe. He just needs a final dose of sober. Pete! Pete! Are you okay? Be gentle. His body's still in rough shape. Yeah. But I can see that old fire in his eyes again. I can't believe you're with us again. Thank you. All of you. I know I haven't been myself for... well... For a long time. <clears throat> and I'm still not. Not yet, anyway. But this, this setting aside of differences to help family, that's what being a Roundel has always been about. From here on out, I'll be the leader you deserve. Not just the old Pete, but a new Pete. One ready to live up to those ideals. It's Miller's men! They're here! That's what you're worried about. Roger told me before he left to meet with Dennis and Joan. Where's Miller now? The houses have fallen. They're inside Oberon. Plus Glam and Mab House. They're everywhere in Cordor Street. We fight. Now pull your hat out your eyes and get it properly fitted, you know. We can't make up our minds, can't we just divide and conquer? That's how they beat us last time. What do you think? You're the only one who hasn't given their opinion. Have you ever tried to reason with the Miller's men? They'll bash your head in with a pipe. I won't have a repeat of the Battle of Bang Bang. It's two to one. We have a plan. The streets are our priority. If your clothes don't say something, it might as well not exist. And here's dinner. I think I'll call it. Tonight's force is our foot. Feeling like a bloody mess! Da, 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 da. <laughs> Oh, this is Frank. Come out, come out wherever you are.
What can I get you? Here's our menu. Enjoy. down our one.
What was that? It came from Oberon. We can't let whatever that thing is out. We go in. Watch where you're Pull going. Pull your hat out of your eyes and yeah. get it properly fitted, you numpty. Apologies. Guess we both need to pay more attention. Time to die, sleep. for me when I went missing. And Mike, who... <coughs> <coughs> Prince Pete, you still have to take it easy. You won't be 100% for a while. You'd think, if I was strong enough to fight off Miller's men, I could give a good victory speech. You just stand in there is a victory speech, Prince Pete. I suppose it is. Glad to have you back. And now, we need to start thinking about tomorrow. Because the good old roundels are back. I swear. The sun rises earlier when you're out dancing. You might want to think about making a U-turn out of here. find it elsewhere try here step right up bye <laughs> 